are continuing our 49ers roster countdown with number 86, linebacker Mark Nazocha, who's been with the 49ers for a pretty decent amount of time. Now, he's a linebacker, and he's got a very unique story. Um, from Ansbach, Germany, he's 6'3", 235, so definitely on the larger end of the spectrum for linebacker play very similar to fred warner type of a build um considerably older he's 32 years old he was born in 1990 and this is his eighth season and i, I just want to say like this is a huge successor story one just coming from germany uh landed at wyoming the university of wyoming where you know he made the team was kind of on and off for them his freshman sophomore year then started the last two years an all academic all conference player for two years in a row uh, never really had a lot of the huge success at the college game especially from a smaller school but whenever he tested uh that was kind of where he jumped off being 6'3 235 he ran a 456 so speed athleticism size intelligence I think is a testament to why his career has lasted as long as it has. Um, 24 <laughs> reps at the bench press. That's 225 pounds each. The dude is strong. The dude is big. The dude is fast. The dude is smart. Now, his journey in the NFL has been interesting. He was a late seventh round pick in 2015 by the Dallas Cowboys. Um, they released him. He didn't make their initial 53. They brought him onto their practice squad, and it took two weeks. Um you know, two weeks on Dallas's practice squad, the 49ers said, we want him. And the 49ers signed Mark Nizocha off of the Dallas practice squad. Um, that was September 25th, 2017. And he's been with us since. Now he's been released, then re-signed, then put on the practice squad, then all those things back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And probably the height of his career, he signed a three-year extension with the 49ers in 2019. Uh, mostly as a core special teamer, he did hold down that third linebacker spot for um, three games. Uh, he only has three career starts in his eight years. This will be his eighth year. And so three career starts in seven years. He, he's been predominantly a special teamer. Now, the speed shows and, you know, was even, I, I believe, one of the captains of the special teams unit for a little while. He's playing 56 games. So this is somebody with a lot of experience. His brother, Eric, um, also played linebacker for Tampa Bay. And so if you look at his career snaps, he has over 1,000 special teams career snaps. And that's kind of where he's made his money as a backup linebacker who can step in, understands the scheme completely, has the athleticism to perform the task, just playmaking just has never really been there uh, for him uh, only 232 defensive snaps in his career now if you look at his kind of stats and everything he only has 42 total tackles two pass defense one interception one sack um, and most of all of those stats came in 2018 um in 2019 and when the 49ers you know made that historic run in 2019 he kind of took a back roll didn't get many defensive snaps but was a leader on the special teams unit and got an interception and a pass defense in that 2019 year which was so huge for the 49ers making it to the super bowl now if you look at him last year he got called up twice. That was it. Um, two games played. He had two tackles. One was a solo. The rest of the time he spent on the practice squad. And I think that's kind of what it's going to be again. Now, the difference with the 2022 49ers in regards to Mark Nazocha, there's a lot more competition and a lot more youth around. Will he be able to fight off some of these younger you know, linebackers that – you know, the undrafted free agents, Jeremiah Gamel, uh, Sigan Olubi, like Marcelino McCrary Ball, who we just finished. Can he pass those guys? Because that's what he's competing for. I don't think that he has a shot. And again, this is the number 86 out of 90 players on the 49ers roster. How does he get that roster spot? I don't think 53 man's an option. Special teams is going to have to be where he makes his money. But he's going to have to show that his athleticism at age 32 is still where it was to compete with these youngins. They're, he's compete with 23-year-olds, you know, nine years younger than him. That's one of the things he's going to have to do. So um, it, it's going to be fun to watch. You know, obviously he's a fun locker room guy. The coaching staff absolutely loves this guy to keep him around for that long. So 
It's one of those things. He will not make the 53-man roster, but can he land on one of those 16 practice squad spots? Remember, 10 practice squad spots are reserved for vets. So that's something to keep in mind on. But, man, just awesome. Again, the thing to take away with Mark Nisocha, incredible journey coming from Germany, um, intelligent, Huge and fast. He's got some athleticism. Uh, special teams is where he's going to make his bread and butter. Also want to give a shout out to Anthony and Josh. This series producers, if you haven't caught our other episodes yet, man, go do so. We're doing nine a week for the next 10 weeks. 90 all the way down to player one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> 